Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Bonjour tout le monde. Niveau 1 Le livre Interchange Intro, quatrième édition. Unité 6, 7, 8, 9 et 10. C'est le vocabulaire. S'il vous plaît, répétez après moi. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Unité 7. Le livre Interchange Intro. On était 7, exercice numéro 1. Le vocabulaire de l'exercice numéro 1. A view. A scene. Does it have a view? House. Apartment. Flat. First floor. Dining room. A room for eating. Eating. Tea soft D. Kitchen. A room for cooking. Living room. A room for watching TV. Laundry room. A room for washing clothes. Stairs Garage A place for parking cars Bedroom A room for sleeping Hall Bathroom Toilet Elevator Elevator T of the elevator Left Yard Playground Two New British new American new modern not old old not new not modern ancient guess think guess what I have an interesting news guess what I have an interesting news that's great fantastic building 3. The sounds nice, lucky, fortunate, alone, palace, castle, castle, tea silent, house, building, 5. Furniture, armchair, big chair, stove, cooker, curtains, picture, clock, watch, bed, Table, 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 microwave oven, microwave oven, lamps, desk, coffee table, coffee table, refrigerator, refrigerator, T soft D, refrigerator, refrigerator, sofa, we sit on the sofa. Bookcase to collect box in it. Hello, Unit 7, Part 1. Housing. Housing. S as Z sound. Housing. 
Where do people live? People live in flat. Flat. Flat, an apartment. Flat, an apartment. Flat, British, American, an apartment. People live in a villa. Villa. House. Hut. Houseboat. This is a houseboat. A houseboat, a ship. In Egypt here, some people live in a house in a houseboat. A ship in the Nile. A ship as a house in the Nile. A houseboat. Hut. It's made of wood. Cabin. Hut or cabin. Housing, flat, apartment, houseboat, hut, house, villa. Unit 7. Does it have a view? Page 44, exercise 1, snapshot. Listen and practice. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. The bedrooms have closets. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. The apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. The house, the house has two floors, first floor and second floor. The first floor has laundry room, dining room, kitchen, living room. Living room it's room for watching television, having fun, meeting the guests, meeting people. Dining room, a room for eating. It has a dining table. Laundry room, a room for washing clothes. Kitchen, a place for cooking food. Kitchen is a place to cook food. Garage, garage to park the car. Yard, what's yard? Yard area around the house. This is yard, an area around the house. Small garden, garden around the house. Stairs, you go up to the second floor. Second floor, floor number two. Floor number two. Hall. Bedroom. Bathroom. Closet. This is the house. Apartment. Apartment, a flat. Lobby. This is the lobby. Entrance to the building. You go up. Elevator. By the elevator. Elevator. A left. Living room. Dining room. Room for eating. Bedroom. Room for sleeping. A bedroom. A room for sleeping. Bathroom. Closet. First, we need to talk about house vocabulary. For example, in the house, we have a bedroom, a bathroom, another 
bedroom, a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room. Also, an office and a laundry room. Now, also in the house, we have the basement. So the basement is the bottom part below, under the surface, under the ground. Above, we have the first floor of the house and the second floor of the house. Again, the basement is under the house, the first floor of the house, and the second floor is on the first floor. Very good. This is Jose and Karen. They want to buy a new house. They are looking for houses. Linda is a real estate agent. She is helping Jose and Karen find the perfect house. Okay, Jose and Karen, this next one is a great house. I think you are going to love it. Oh, it looks beautiful. I really like the yard. Wow, it is really nice. Can we see the inside? Here it is. Do you have questions about the house? Yes, I do. Does the house have bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has two bedrooms. And do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. And one bedroom has a closet. And does the house have a basement? Yes, it does. The office and the laundry room are in the basement. And does the house have a garage? No, it doesn't. Do you have a car? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Do you need to have a garage? No, we don't, I guess. We can park on the street. Tell us more about the house. Okay, well, there is a big kitchen and a nice living room. What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments? In Egypt, we have villas. The villa has living room, kitchen, laundry room, dining room, garage, bedrooms, bathrooms, what rooms are in apartments? Apartments, flats. In Egypt, the apartment or the flat has three bedrooms, reception or living room, bathroom, Kitchen. What rooms are in your house or apartment? In my house, there are five bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a big reception. Exercise number two. 
Look at the vector here. What do you see? A young lady. Books. Living room. Living room. L R. Living room. Yes. This is balcony, balcony. Lesson. Page 44, exercise 2. Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Exercise 2. Conversation. My new apartment. Guess what? Think. Think. Think what? I have a new apartment. New what? What sound? A new apartment. I have a new apartment. New apartment. A new flat. That's great. What's it like? Describe it. Tell me about it. What's your flat like? What's your apartment like? It's really nice. It's very nice. It's wonderful. Is it big? Is it very big? Well, yes, it has a big living room. It has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice, wonderful. Do you live downtown? Downtown, the center of the city, the city center. Do you live downtown? Do you live in the city center? No, I don't. I live near the university. The, the university. Does it have a view? A view. When you look from the balcony, you see what? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view. It has a wonderful view of another apartment building. In front of my flat, a very big building. A wonderful building of apartment building. It has a great view of another apartment building. What about Linda? Why is Linda happy? Because she has a new apartment. Linda has a new flat. What's Linda's flat like? What's her flat like? What's her apartment like? It's really nice. Is it big? Is her flat is big? Yes, it is. It has big living room, bedroom, bathroom, and a kitchen. Does Linda live downtown? No, she doesn't. She lives near the university. Does her flat, does her apartment have a view? Yes, it does. What is the view? It has a great view of another apartment building. Exercise number three. Grammar Folks. Page 45. Exercise three. Grammar Focus. Simple present short answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 
Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Simple present short answers. Simple present the question with yes or no. Short answers yes, no questions. So in the answer yes and no. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in a flat? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Question, do you? Answer, yes. No. Do the bedrooms have windows? Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Do you? Question, answer. Do, yes, do. No, subject, don't. Again, do. Do you? Do the bedrooms live? Have. Do. Subject. Verb. Answer. Yes or no. Yes, no. Subject. Do. No, don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does, subject, main verb. Does, subject, main verb. Does Chris live? Does the house have? The subject, Chris, he. The house, it. Does, he, does she, does it, main verb. Yes. Subject, does. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. No. No, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. Now, time for the grammar. Remember the yes, no questions. We use the auxiliary verb do and does for the question in the simple present. The auxiliary do we use for the subjects I, you, we, and they. The auxiliary verb does we use for the third person subjects he, she, it. Remember, for the subject they, we use they for multiple people and multiple things. And today we are using they for multiple things. Also, it. Remember the subject it is for one thing. Only one thing. Now, when the question starts with the auxiliary, it's a yes no question. So the short answer for a question with do, we can say yes and no. Yes, we say yes. Subject, do. The no, we say no. Subject, don't. With the negative auxiliary. Very good. Now, a question with does, a yes no question with does, in the short answer, we say yes. Subject, does. And the negative, we say, no, subject doesn't. The negative auxiliary. Very good. Now, it's time to practice. A. Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. In this exercise, you will answer the questions, you fill in the blanks, you will use 
do or does. Remember, do, you, we, they, I. Does, he, she, it. Do you live in an apartment? Do you live in a flat? No, I. No, I don't. I live in a house. Linda. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. You alone. Do. Do you. Do you live alone? No, I don't. No, don't. No, I don't. I, I live. I live with my family. Do, do you? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Your house, many bedrooms. Your house. Does your house have, does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It, for, verb to have, we have, they have, I have, he, she, it, has, it has four, it has four bedrooms. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Again, the answers. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky. In part B, pure work. Read the conversation in part A again. Ask and answer these questions about Chris. So, you will read the conversation again and you start to ask the questions about Mr. Chris. Does, does Chris live in an apartment? Does Chris live in an apartment? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does his house have a yard? A yard, area around the house. Like this, this is the yard. Does his house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Does he live alone? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does he have his own room? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Exercise number four, listening. It has just one room. Now, look at the pictures here. In this picture, you have four homes. You listen to four people describe their homes, number the pictures from one to four. You will listen to the people. The people are describing their homes, their houses. You put the number 
Which one is number one, two, three, or four? Ready? You will listen two times. Page 45, exercise 4, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Three. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. Page 45, Exercise 4, Listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. One. Home number one. This is number one. Two floors. First floor. Second floor. On the first floor, he lives in the first floor with his family. On the second floor, another family. They are very nice, but they are not quiet. They are noisy. They make a lot of noise. So this is number one. One. Number two. Two. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of a large modern building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Two. He lives in a flat on the fifth floor. Fifth floor, floor number five. Count one, two, three, four, five. He lives here, in this building, in fifth floor. This is a modern building, a new building. It has a lot of shops. The street has a lot of shops. It's wonderful, it's great. It has a great view of the city and this apartment building is in downtown downtown city center so this is number two so picture number one picture two three three my apartment is very small it has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Number three. Her apartment is very small. It has only one room, one room, small kitchen and a kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom. She sleeps on the sofa. She sleeps on the sofa. 
So this is number three. Three. Four. My family and I live in an old house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a nice yard and lots of trees. We like it a lot. This is number four. The house is very old. She lives in the country. The country, the countryside, villages. The house has a yard. This is a yard area around the house. The house is small, but they like it. There are a lot of trees around it. There are a lot of trees and a big yard. Picture four. This is picture number four. Four. So the answers. This is picture two. Picture four. Picture number three. Picture number one. One. Three. Four. Two. Page 46, exercise 5, word power, furniture, part A, listen and practice. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, Lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, TV, cupboards. In this exercise, you listen and repeat. Armchairs, armchairs, chairs, chairs, but armchairs, big chairs, big chairs. Stove, stove, cooker, stove, cooker. Curtains, curtains, pictures, bed, bed for sleeping, table. Coffee table, coffee table, a small table. Microwave oven, oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator, refrigerator. T S F D, refrigerator. Lamps, lamps. Sofa. Desk. Bookcase, dresser, dresser, chairs, mirror, 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 rug, rug, a small carpet, TV, television, cupboards, cupboards. Yeah. Which rooms have the things in part A? Complete the chart. Kitchen. In the kitchen, we have table, stove. American kitchen, we have dining table, very big table, table. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Dining room. Dining room, room for eating. In the dining room, we have table, table, chairs, living room, living room, 
room for watching television for meeting guests in the living room TV television bookcase curtains 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 armchairs armchairs in the living room armchairs curtains pictures refrigerator chairs armchairs bookcase bedroom in the bedroom is room for sleeping in the bedroom a bed curtains pictures lamps lamps chairs see group work what furniture is in your house or apartment Tell your classmates. Tell your friends about the furniture in your house. My living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My bedroom has a bed, a mirror, a rug, my kitchen my kitchen has a stove refrigerator and table bedroom in the bedroom is room for sleeping in the bedroom a bed curtains pictures lamps lamps chairs see group work what furniture is in your house or apartment tell your classmates tell your friends about the furniture in your house my living room has a sofa a rug and a television my bedroom has a bed, a mirror, a rug, my kitchen. My kitchen has a stove, refrigerator, and table. That's the end of part 1 unit 7 unit 7 part 1 homework homework number 1 study by heart the vocab book number 2 lesson 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 and repeat number 3 you listen and repeat you answer three pages of the workbook. The first three pages of the exercises of the workbook. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.